Westbrook uh, made some headlines last night too. Um, he once again got into a pretty heated exchange with yeah. with a fan about 30 seconds to go. You know, so the Nuggets up big. They're winning this game. It's over. Clippers inbound the ball. Westbrook is standing at mid court and he is talking back to a fan or two there who is sitting behind sort of the courtside seats. At one point, referee Lauren Holtkamp, she gets in front of Russ, sort of make sure nothing happens. But then after the buzzer sounds, Westbrook returns to the, the hecklers. And then you've got the refs in there. You've got Justin Holliday's in there. You've got arena security. You've got the Clippers security. You've got Daniel Tice, I think, is in the mix. Like basically everyone trying to just like keep Russ cool or make sure like this doesn't boil over into anything more than that. But uh, Westbrook asked about it after the game, and he just reiterated once again that he's not going to stand by and listen to these fans verbally attack him and his family. It seems to always come back to his to his family. That's mm. like that's where you cross a line to Westbrook and that's when he'll, you know, start giving it back, I guess, to these people. Because this <laughs> is what is this like the fourth or fifth time, you know, in the last let's say four years where this has happened with Russell Westbrook. Right. But after watching the clips and how it happened and not knowing exactly what the fan said. Of course, of course. I just thought that that fan was just asking for him to try harder, really, because Russ didn't go and stand there for a long time, and fans weren't that mad at that particular fan standing around him. Although at at some point they pointed to the referees and to security, hey, it was this guy who was talking. Right. But – you know, this is me just making it up and just wondering what was said. I don't really think anything was said that needed to be addressed in that way, that needed to get that fan out of the arena, like other fans who have before who need to be banned from that particular city's arena for an entire season or for a heck of a lot longer right. if you're if you're questioning someone's fan, uh, family. But I don't think there really was much other than Westbrook being frustrated with the Los Angeles Clippers. I think that's what, what was more uh, to be made of. Although, you know, he, he stood there and, and he – during possessions even. This, during, this was yeah. during possessions going up and down the yeah. floor. Westbrook decided not to play, just to look at that fan and, and say something. But I think the fan really just was more like – Hey, we want to win games. Do something. We don't know. Yeah. But there has been no other reports like what exactly he said. But right. again, it's just Russ always going back to this idea like he cross they you cross a line when you start disrespecting my name. It's all about the Westbrook name and his family and and that. But yeah, I mean in 2019, a fan in Utah earned that lifetime ban uh, for the verbal altercation with Russ. Mm-hmm. Now, that was, there was a little more sort of evidence with what, what was being said and definitely crossing lines. In 21, when he was with the Wizards, Russ, uh, there was um, popcorn dumped on him in uh, mm. Philadelphia, I think that was. That was a playoff game. Last season, Clippers' Suns in Phoenix, verbal confrontation with a Suns fan. This is the weird part of all of this. This was in L.A. This is at home. This is in front of Clippers fans. And so, yeah, what was what was said that really pissed Russ off? Or was it just Russ uh, reacting to, like, oh, my God, embarrassing loss. He's airballing free throws. You know, fans are a little upset and all that. And it's and it just, like, triggered him. It right. really got him. But, man, I mean, you can you can get to him is obviously what this, this is the problem. On one hand, you're like, yeah, man, that's got to suck. Like, tell these people to shut the fuck up when they cross a the line to you. But... It's also like it's a double-edged sword because it's like, well, now they know that it's going to affect you and it's just going to make it more likely that some other chump's going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's tough. I, said, I, don't, I don't envy him in that position, but it's almost like, ugh. You're just more, it's more likely to happen again, unfortunately. And it shouldn't happen at home. That's, no, that's no, for sure. Definitely. But this fan has not been banned in any way. No, I don't. Not, it no, we doesn't know of. seem like that, but I'm sure the Clippers, Steve Ballmer and his new dome plan, would ban a fan if he if he or she needed to be banned. Yes. And in this instance... I don't believe just because you buy a ticket you can say whatever you want. No. By, no, by any know. means. We, that's true. But do I believe you can say... Uh, call out your team a little bit or obviously try and get under the opponent's skin. Yeah, like, (laughs) yes, you can boo. Sorry, Pop, uh, you can. Yeah. But, you know, I guess he maybe he did cross a line. He crossed a line in Russ's mind. That's the that's the issue here. And it happened exactly after those free throws we mentioned that he missed. He missed a pair of free throws. Yes. Which, yeah, I'm just guessing that Russ was frustrated. Right, right. By what happened on the basketball floor, because Russ is a freaking good player and was doing a lot offensively for this team when he was on that floor and has moved his way to the bench on this team to support his team, to make them better, like he did last year for the Los Angeles Lakers, which helps. It helps 
that team, although they haven't been moving the ball all that well with Terrence Mann as a starting point guard, they're still trying to figure it out, and that's unfortunate. And maybe they will a little bit more, but this team is too small and doesn't have the effort level. So I think that's what the fan was saying. Just guessing. Mm -hmm. Uh, But obviously Westbrook... Took offense to it. He took offense, and and stopping (laughs) during play... Like, he wasn't running up and down the right. floor, which was really weird. Like, it wasn't at an end. It was at the center center line, yeah. up a few li- up a few uh, rows where he was trying to get it into somebody. Yeah, or get them floor. tossed or whatever. It was. Right. Whatever, what the end goal was, I'm not sure, from Russ's side of things, I guess, yeah. to have that person maybe thrown out. But, yeah, it was the end of the game, and he's a Clippers. You know, I mean, look, just because he's there doesn't mean he's a Clippers fan, I guess. In theory, Didn't he, he could have, have been... on a Clippers jersey. Did he? I uh, think so. Oh, okay. I okay. think the reports okay. reports are fan has Clippers jersey. Okay. Well, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. 